Hi students, this is the uh, alto part for C Jam Blues in G major. This is a little more complicated and that's why we've waited so long to learn it. Um, when you sit down in the alto xylophone, I've set it up for you so that there is no C. So the first note here is D and it goes D, E, F, F sharp. That's the F with the little hashtag. Please call it a sharp in music class. G, A, and the next one has two things written on it. One is an A sharp and the other one looks like a B with a little tiny B. That's called a flat in music class, so B flat. And then a regular B, a C, a D, E, F, and G up to the top. You don't need all of those, but what you do need are these. First thing you should do to set this up when you sit down to this xylophone is you take the D off. Then you have E, F, F sharp. Take off the G and the A. Now you have B flat, B natural, C, and then take off the D. You don't need the E, F, and G at the top, but what they're there for is just so you don't have a bigger mess on the floor. The ones you're going to be using is are these, these three, and these three. Now, I've set it up for you so that it has an interesting sound. If you listen, I'm going to play the middle ones on each one, the F over here and the B natural over here, and it sounds like this. That's what's known as a tritone, which, which means uh, it's three whole steps in music apart. Now, that is, that's got a long history. It's known as the devil's chord because if you listen to it, it sounds a little spooky. Um, in this case, we're going to make it jazzy, okay? So for the alto, you're going to be playing the two middle ones first, 4-4. Four, four. Then you're going to be playing the, so the, B, the F and B first. Then you're going to move to the E and B flat for 4. And then you're going to go back to the F and B for 8. That's the first part. Let's try it. One, two, ready, go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. The second part of, so in 12 bar blues, everything's in 12 bars. So we've used up four bars so far. Now we're on bars five, six, seven, and eight. You start with the E and the B flat for eight, and then you go back to the F and B for eight. So here we go. Second, second four bars. One, two, ready, go. three bars. We're going to go up to the F sharp and the C and we're going to play those for four. Then we're going to leap over to the E and the B flat for four and then we'll come back to the middle on the F and the B for eight. So here we go. One, two, ready, it's one, two, three, four, one, Now, if we put all of those bars together, remember we started here. One, two, ready, go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now, this might be confusing because you are watching me instead of, if you try to do it like a mirror, it's not going to work. So I'm going to turn my xylophone around and I'll do it backwards. 
Now, this is like you are playing it. Oops, let's see if we can get them down here to where you can see it. Okay, don't want them to fall off. Okay, so now I'm using these three and these three, right? Here we go. Now you can play it as if you were in a mirror with me. One, two, ready, go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now, this fits with what the bass xylophones are doing. So I am going to play. Hopefully, I'm going to play it. I'm going to play the smart board along with me so you can hear the bass part at the same time as playing the alto parts. Let's see if it works. Keep your fingers crossed. One, two, ready, go.